I am going to do my best to describe the experience of an anxiety attack or um, what it's like when uh, anxiety is really overwhelming. As a prerequisite, we would, you know, it is always important to go through a whole list of things. You know, did I sleep okay last night? Am I hungry? Um, did I just, you know, get in an argument with someone? So as of right now, you know, none of those things are really the situation for me. One thing might be that I've maybe drank too much coffee today. Perhaps I haven't drank enough water, although I'm not sure. The point of just doing <clears throat> seriously the simple checks is because, you know, it might, it might just be common life circumstances that are influencing your level of anxiety. Other times, you know, anxiety is always, well, anxiety is most often induced by worrying or thinking about the future. Now, today, um, it's been pretty, you know, today's been pretty uncomfortable for me. I'm not exactly sure how it came on. And so I just want to describe what it's like. You know, I have an intense sort of sense of tightness in my throat. I got, you know, butterflies and etc. like crazy in my stomach. Um, I have a lot of racing thoughts. I can't focus on anything. So I'm, you know, I'm bouncing around trying to settle down. Um, I did try to lie down and do some grounding breathing practices that was helpful for a bit. Um, but I think what motivated me to do this video is I have a lot of practice in meditation. I have a lot of uh, practice um, being a client in a psychotherapy environment. I have a lot of practice in a lot of healing modalities, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to experience moments of intense anxiety. Perhaps if I was, uh, you know, the Dalai Lama, so to speak, you know, maybe I'd be free of these moments, but generally speaking, they're going to come throughout my life. And, and the more that I practice the things I know are good for me and helpful for me, the better I can handle these moments. So as I'm going through my day, when I find I'm lost in my thoughts or I'm really um, overwhelmed by the physical sensations of the anxiety, I go back to my practice skills. You know, can I focus on one breath at a time, two breaths at a time, three breaths at a time, whatever it is. Can I remind myself that I am not anxiety? I am experiencing anxiety. I am not, you know, the worry and the racing thoughts. I am consciousness. I'm awareness itself, and I'm aware that these things are going on inside of me. Now, I know that sometimes can sound simplistic, but that's the beauty of meditation or mindfulness or many other perhaps self-awareness practices is that we learn to detach, we learn to diffuse um, or unhook from the stressful experiences that we are in. Anxiety can come on at any point. It is important to do a checklist of things, you know, to sort of rule out any obvious things. And then from there, can you just do micro <clears throat> behaviors or actions that are going to help alleviate your anxiety? Unfortunately, I'm not in a situation where I could go for a walk because usually going for a walk is a huge soothing um, experience for me. So I would, you know, like to do that that's not happening so i'm trying to just remind myself oh that's an, that's anxiety that's worry that's fear that's okay um sometimes i'll put my hand on my stomach and really try to bring myself a sense of comfort to the sensations of anxiety there um but anyhow you know right now as i'm doing this video it's like i got tension in my head I just gotta breathe. So, who knows? I hope that's helpful. Remember, practice is important. Asking for help is important. And reminding yourself that you're experiencing the distress. You are not the distress. You are much bigger. You are more vast. You are capable of containing all your experience. But it takes practice.
I wish you the best of luck. Take care. Bye.